ಹಲೋ ಎವ್ರಿ ಬನ್ ಇಲ್ಲದಿರುವ ಯಶಸ್ವಿ ಕನ್ನಡ ವಾಣಿ ಯೂಟ್ಯೂಬ್ ಚಾನಲ್ಗೆ ಸ್ವಾಗತ ವೆಲ್ಕಮ್ ಎವ್ರಿ ಒನ್ ಟೇ ಯಶಸ್ವಿ ಕನ್ನಡ ವಾಣಿ ಯೂಟ್ಯೂಬ್ ಚಾನಲ್ ಸೊ ಡೂ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ವಿತ್ ದ ಕಾಗುಣಿತ ಆಫ್ ಅ ಒನ್ ಮೂ ವಿಡಿಯೋ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ಟೂ ವಿಡಿಯೋಸ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಲರ್ನ್ಡ್ ದ ಕಾಗುಣಿತ ಆಫ್ ಅ ಇ ಇ ಉ ಉ ರು ಸೊ ಟುಡೆ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ವಿಡಿಯೋ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಲರ್ನಿಂಗ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಎ ಎ ಐ ಸೊ ಬಿಫೋರ್ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಐ ರಿಕ್ವೆಸ್ಟ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಟು ಟೇಕ್ ಔಟ್ ಯುವರ್ ನೋಟ್ಬುಕ್ ಪೆನ್ಸಿಲ್ ಇರೇಸಿಂಗ್ ವೇರ್ ಯುವರ್ ಫೋನ್ ಆನ್ಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಇನ್ ಅ ಕ್ವಾಯಿಟ್ ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಫಾಲೋ ದ ಲೆಸನ್ಸ್ So if you know already thoroughly the first and the second part till ru only then you have to watch this or learn the next one if you don't know please stop here go back learn practice the all those letters till ru thoroughly only then you have to come to this video okay so we'll start with the letters now today we'll be learning a for a a and i clear so we'll learn kagunita for a a and i if you know the one letter the remaining two is very easy okay so i'll start with so you all know k can be written in two forms i have taught in every classes ch can be written in two forms that is what i have taught in every classes one is a printed version one is a written writing version the written version so now let's learn all these three together a a and i will learn it together okay first what we do is we will write letter k i'll use the printed version k how do i make it a it's very simple on the top of this head instead of this line we have to write a small circle i'll just show you this is what you write if you remember this this is the uttakshara vatta yes and this is how we also write number 2 in kannada okay we use this symbol for every letter the head of the letters okay so the letter head will become like this so this is k that's it yes you know it's very simple this is k okay so for k how do i write as use this symbol again remember for e matra what did you do you put a line right like a p we introduce this now so we'll write a k and we introduce this this is your k clear and for kai so we we'll use the same head remember for kru what did we do you remember this letter the kru yes if you remember this now you will remember properly we use the same kind but but the little modification like this it's not a straight line a slightly will go to the right side we use the same thing so i write like this kai okay so if you are writing inside the line how it should be let me show that also so this is your k and this will be your k make sure what did i tell you this symbol especially it should not be too small it should not be too lengthy also it should be the height of the letter so that is what i have taught you in the e matra also remember that carefully and apply the same concept here also i'm sorry for the background the dog barking noise and how do i write kai remember the same concept that i told you for kru what you should do kru this the symbol should not be too lengthy or too small or it should not come to the side so it should start from the down it should not touch the letter stop here and go to the right side that's it so this is how we write in the written written version in the printed version you might see it as something different also okay some people they will be writing like this but i don't know i have never used that one so please stop using the z and all if you are using it like this so this is k k and k i hope it's clear now for you it's very simple on the head instead of a straight line the vertical line put a small zero that's it so that will become the head for all the three letters and the remaining as i told just remember so for this you will give one line and for this you will go with the down clear very good we'll go for the next letter we'll try for a ge 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 gai now try it for ra you have to write it before i write re re right try for sa se se sai now try for la le le lai see 
if you observe, for la there is no head, right? For la we don't have a head. So what do I do is, I'll go with a small horizontal line. Then I'll do like this, okay? For this, if you're writing like this, please be very careful. Don't write it purposefully like this. So this doesn't look like letter at all. So how you should write? It should be very smooth. That's it. Very smooth. A small horizontal line and a quick zero. That's it. Do not write like this always that looks very weird and it is not a right form of writing the letter okay so for a what whichever the letter we don't have a head please practice this for example try for a bar for bar also we don't have a head no need to write like this so simple way way by clear for bengaluru we use the first one bay clear so wherever the letter doesn't have a head, you should follow like this. Do not make it too much of a lengthy horizontal line and then put a zero. I hope it's clear. Now let's go for the words if you are clear with this one. If you have any doubts, you can just check the video at the end of the video where you will be given the notes, where I have given the this, how to write for all the letters. Okay, from curve to la. You have to write from curve to la for all the letters before checking into the, the notes that I have given to you. We'll write for the first word. K, re, kere, kere is a lake. Ge, re, kere, kere is a line. K, lu, k, lu. This we have learned in the last video, the part two. If you don't know that one, please go check, learn properly. Then you have to come to this. K, lu is ask. He lu, he lu, he lu is tell. Le pronunciation is very important, children. If you don't say this lu instead of this lu, if you say this lu, he lu, that means potty shit. So please be very careful when you say them, pronounce the letter properly. Right pronunciation is very important to give the right meaning. Next is kai. The simple letter kai means hand in Kannada. Okay, next is, which is this letter? This letter is my. The simple letter my will say body in Kannada. Raita, Raita, Raita is a former, not that Palav Raita, Biryanika Raita. Okay, that is Raita. This is Raita. Raita is a farmer. Okay, so this is how you have to read the words. First, before that, learn how to write a AI. Then you can read the words. At the end of this video, you have the notes as I told you. And also you have few activities where you have to read the words and write the words. In this video, in this, we have learned A, A and I. In the previous, we have learned from R to R. So till now, we have learned from R to I. There is a one last video. In the next video, we will be learning O, O and O. After that, it's your responsibility. You have to practice every day and make yourself thorough for reading and writing okay and also there is a beginner's uh, lesson if you don't know Kagunita, if you are still in a beginner section i'm sorry for the background noise about the door you have to go and learn a i e arka vadi am words and all then come to vattakshara learn vattakshara i'm really sorry i'll just take a pause and i'll just come back i'm sorry thoroughly then you have to come to Kagunita, learn Kagunita and practice reading and writing so that's it about in this video I'll meet you all in the next video I'm really sorry and apologize for the dog barking at the background these dogs will never, never stop barking okay so please like Madi share Madi subscribe Madi to HSP Kranavani YouTube channel and also if you are you see your friends are struggling with the basic please do share this video for your friends so let them learn Sharing knowledge is very important. You gain the knowledge only by sharing the knowledge. So thank you so much. And there are few ebooks that is being launched from Yusri Kanadavani, both for adults and children. Please go check for the link in the description box where you have the books for children for story books, vocabulary book, and tense book. And for adults, you have a spoken Kanada book, the part one is being launched from Yusri Kanadavani. 
please go check in the description link for the description box for the link to purchase the book all the books are ebooks so that's it from my end if you have any doubt please do let me know comment maadi or mail maadi hsvkaranavani at gmail.com okay i'll meet you all in the next video till then thank you namaskar